hear from our guests about what keeps them going and their advice for budding entrepreneurs. <laughs> Do you need a certain set of skills to become an entrepreneur? I think the generalisation about an entrepreneur is they have to be risk takers and they have to have an eight sort of skills set to become a successful entrepreneur. But I think what people are missing as well is that uh, whatever skill set you're missing, you can co-found with a person that has those skills. So for example, you're not a, such a risk taker, then you co-found with someone that is much more of a risk taker, or if you have the design skills and someone else has much more software element, or whatever it may be. So whatever skills you're missing, then team up with someone that has those skills. And I think that was the whole concept from Design Hub in general at the very beginning was a collaborative effort and a collaborative group getting together to get their ideas across. So when we set up in 2009, uh, we were a design collaborative and the idea was that we had all the skill sets in one house for to develop an idea from mine to market. Uh, one of which is my own company and that would be Truzies. So I set about designing a range of baby gift products and uh, they're currently being sold in the likes of Arnott's among 14 other retail stores in Ireland and I'm exporting to America as well. So I have five new products developed uh, now and hopefully we'll kind of grow to an international business. Now here's a personal one that I think helps businesses but most business people won't tell you and it's this concept of Ubuntu. Now Ubuntu is an African saying, African proverb that basically says, I am because we are. We live in a very global world. We live in a world that is becoming more and more self-focused. I think the most powerful thing about business is you can actually change lives. You can actually make a difference. Um, and most business people think that in order for me to make money, you need to suffer. I'm going to exploit you to make myself money. So this is a personal one outside of those three is this concept of Ubuntu. And Ubuntu is I am because we are. This concept that I can only build if we build together. I can only benefit if we all benefit. So it's a totally personal one uh, that is not business advice to get from an MBA school, but one that I find works in that get people involved in what you do. The more people that love what you do, the more people that are passionate about what you do, the more people that will benefit from you succeeding, the better I think your business does in the world. But in my world, my business has been successful because people have felt empowered. People have felt like they're going to win by me winning. Um, so final one is constantly going to I am because we are. question what advice would you give to someone young who's starting up a business uh, I think the main advice would be first of all get get a support network so uh, I have my, my parents who have supported me like I wouldn't be where I am without them they, they give me advice they are they, they come on like my, my conferences with me and they're just always there like to support me and then have my friends to support me as well so first thing is have a support network and then again never give up like you're gonna run through obstacles especially when you're young again but if you keep going and you keep fighting, then you're going to have a good end goal. Um, everyone has um, their own little resources that they're the best at or, you know, they shine in. Um, and looking back on my childhood, I was never academic, I was never sporty, but I loved technology. And I always threw myself at home into the business. I loved art as well. Um, and then finding your own niche within that, I think, is very powerful. But also, if you just like do something that scares the life out of you every single day, you like build that like confidence. And just simple things like emailing somebody that you don't think will email back, and they actually do. That's like huge for your confidence. The design hub ethos is to collaborate. So if you've got an idea, just to get out there straight away, start talking to your peers or to uh, I, I don't know anybody that uh, in your school or your college. And really, it's, I think it's about uh, getting together with a group of different people and uh, getting the support network around you. Okay, advice to people starting a business. Now, realizing that every business is radically different and every person is radically different, but generally the things that I have found, um, both as an investor and as an entrepreneur, as a mentor, in all those ways, the things that I like is find a co-founder. If you can find at least one other nut to believe in you, that you don't really have an idea uh, that people are going to buy into. So find at least one other co-founder because the journey is tough and it's a heck of a lot of fun. And just like anything else in life that is difficult or a lot of fun, you want to do it with friends. So find a co-founder, number one. Uh, 
Actually, even before that, start now. So if you've got an idea, write it down. If you've written it down, start building a website. If you've built a website, start getting a product or service out there in front of people. So start now. Then get a co-founder and be like, hey, look what I've started doing. Instead of just like, I've got this crazy idea, you want to join me? So be like, I've already started walking this way, do you want to help me? Boom, now you've got momentum. And then keep it simple. I think too often with people who are ambitious, uh, with entrepreneurs who want to save the world, it's easy to start thinking about a hundred things you could do, but keep it simple. Do the one or two things that you know you can do now and let the rest happen. So start now, get a co-founder, keep it simple. Uh, those are the three things that I would do. What advice would you give to someone trying to pursue a career in sport? Um, you know, sport is difficult at times. Uh, like, people, I think you need a lot of things to go your way. You need, you know, you need a little bit of luck, you need a few breaks, but, you know, motivation, hard work, there's no, there's probably no, um, no substitute for hard work. Um, you need self-belief. You need to basically make sacrifices as well. Um, sacrifice is a big thing, you know. Uh, when other people are doing certain things that you feel like you want to do, but you have to do, you know, you have to go and practice or go and uh, do something to do with your sport. So, yeah, just um, hard work, uh, self belief, motivation is is kind of the big things, the big keys that I, I would use. Um, I suppose when you you know when you go work for yourself, you're not going to be surrounded by a team of people where you can fall back on and you can have days where you can just sit back and, and be lazy about it. When you when you work for yourself, you kind of need to you need to set goals and you need to know where you want to be in a few years' time. You need to um, do something that's going to make you want to get up in the morning, jump out of bed, and and get to work. And um, you know, like for me, I kind of know where I want to be in five years' time. Um, as regards to my golf, so um, yeah, I think set goals and motivate yourself to get up in the morning. Definitely uh, try. Don't don't look for excuses. Don't postpone things. Uh, just get started, and the rest will develop. Uh, meet as many people as possible. Talk to as many people as possible. They're gonna give you the best advice, and some of them, if they like you and they like your idea, they might come on board and help you building your business. Absolutely brilliant! Thank you so much. Ah, thanks, hey. Sarah. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs>